Today commences my iPad drawing journey. In this video, I'm going to explore what I think is the best drawing app for architecture students and why I think you guys are going to find it a game changer for your design workflow. Just welcome back to a brand new video. Just before we dive into the video, can you please smash the thumbs up button and subscribe? That'd be much, much appreciated. Today, we're joined with a third camera over here. Hiya. Let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, six months ago, I bought an iPad Air. However, ever since I've bought it, I haven't really found the opportunity to get using it to its maximum. I've been itching to get drawing on the iPad and getting to use this and so today begins my ipad drawing journey with morfolio trace folio trace is a drawing app for architects but today i'm going to show you why i think it's great for architecture students so the beauty of morfolio trace is that it can aid all stages of your design process i'm going to show you four design stages where i think morfolio trace would be really handy for you architecture students and why i think it would be a great addition to your design workflow i am new to the app I haven't used it much at all to be honest i'm just getting to grips with it and so today i want you guys to come along with me on my journey in starting to draw on the ipad so let's dive into morfolio trace okay so let's dive into the app morfolio trace so when you open up the app you're greeted with this home page uh, you've got all your projects down here so when you're working on something as soon as you open up the app you're greeted with this and then along the top, you've got your different file setup. So you've got a blank page, you've got a custom page, you can import an image, PDF, 3D model, which is a great feature, by the way, maps, and then some AR features as well. So if we open up a page, let's just do a blank page and dive into the workspace. So along the left hand side here, you've got your um, your setup with all your pens, rubbers, pencils, etc., highlighters. And what I find great about this is that you could pretty much replicate your architecture student pencil case to a T. You could come into here, you could set up exactly the pens that you normally work with, the pencils that you work with, and make it a seamless workflow from what you would normally do when you're drawing or doing some sketches, etc. And all you have to do for that is go through the different types of pens, pencils, etc and just set up your own kind of little pencil case down the left hand side here. You've then got, as you can see here, your color palette. So you've got all your colors and you can go into here and set up your own color palette. And then you've got obviously all your line weights, which I think is a really key feature when you're working at different types of scales. So if you notice, if you look down the left hand side here, as I zoom in and get closer and get into more detail, the line weights adjust to that. So no matter what scale you're working at, the line weights will adjust and that is a really cool feature. You've got your layers. Uh, so currently we've got this tracing paper layer set up. And you can go into the three dots here and change the settings of this layer. Uh, so drawing opacity, paper opacity. You can change it to a white piece of tracing paper, black piece of pa tracing paper, paper blending, so you can multiply it, etc. So the first design stage that I want to talk about is the stage that comes at the very beginning of the project, and that is simply note taking, breaking down the brief, analyzing precedent studies, and making notes alongside your tutor. If we drop in a precedent study, for example, place it, get working. Typical stuff when you're working on precedent studies, making notes, moving over here, we could say this is north facing, simple things like importing your brief, highlighting certain things that you might find important and things that you want to talk about with your tutor, reflecting on the brief, highlighting and picking out certain words and certain phrases that are going to be important. So if we drop that in, which is another page that we need to explore, work off the page rather than having to print things out having multiple pieces of paper lying around you've got everything in one space stage number two is conceptualizing and starting your initial ideas so the next design stage is when i think the ipad really comes into its own when you're conceptualizing doing your initial sketches which aren't necessarily to scale when you're just kind of doing quick doodles quick drawings in response to precedent studies and in response to feedback in response to the brief etc you can zoom out and continually to sketch and create a full document full of initial sketches and have it all in one place when you're doing quick sketches like this although to begin with they might not mean much you can start to begin to envision space and a really cool feature of morfolio trace is the ar feature click view and ar pick up the ipad 
click somewhere on the screen and voila you can set up your drawing as if you're looking at a piece of paper or a piece of tracing paper and you can move around you can look at it from different angles but a really key feature of this is that on the left hand side you've got this 3d panel where you can start to extrude some of the drawings so you can start to visualize things in three dimensions and if you've got some plans on the go or you've got some elevations on the go you can switch between the two and look at things in three dimensions design stage number three is developing your proposal and beginning to turn those 2d and initial drawings into three dimensions you can do that in the sketchup app on the ipad and you can also import that into morfolio trace which is another amazing feature so you'll get a little green tick you've got a 3D model. So this is just a massive model that I was doing, for example, which is just starting to experiment space and three dimensions. And what you can do is this is the 3D model, set up a viewpoint. So for example, if we wanted to do a view there, click the button and voila, it drops into the app. You can change this to white, as I've mentioned, I like to draw on. And then what the amazing thing of this is that it sets up the perspective feature. So as you can see here, you can move this around and it's automatically adjusted to the perspective of the 3D model, which I think is really, really clever. This is really fast and intuitive. You can spend a lot more time than I'm currently spending on doing this. But to give you the idea, you can basically import a 3D model, set up a view and begin to start drawing. You could go up to this panel at the top here where the little cube is, go back in, create a new view, position somewhere else, do the same thing, go back into Morfolio and there you go. It adjusts to the perspective once again and you can get drawing. So further down the line in your design development, you might want to start using Morfolio Trace for sketching over PDFs, revising models and building and developing on your work. All this area here needs to be hatched so you use the smart fill hatch where you can zoom in and very easily draw around the model because this is underground you want this to be hatched in your drawing there and then you get this kind of fill option you can change this to i don't know a solid hatch like that for example maybe just a square hatch for now change the opacity will do 100 percent paint fill it and voila you've got a hatch and at this point you might want to start doing beautiful diagrams and drawings for your interim reviews or your discussions with your tutors like this joshua jones drawing which i think is absolutely gorgeous or go absolutely wild and produce drawings like a min carrier who does these absolutely beautiful drawings in morfolio trace this can be done really simply just by importing 3d models using the super ruler using the layers the different colors the different pen types and producing some absolutely beautiful diagrams that you could use for an interim review for your discussion discussions with your tutors and also to get on Instagram. <laughs> Stage number four, I think Morfolio Trace is really powerful for producing visuals, renders, drawings for either a final review, an interim review or even a portfolio submission. This drawing by Joshua Gregg I think is absolutely stunning. This has been produced using the perspective tool. You've then got Carmen Gazala who's produced this absolutely beautiful section and looks like he's overlaid a PDF as well as doing some drawing techniques in the background to produce a really effective section. Neil Kessler who's produced this absolutely beautiful sketch using Morfolio Trace. And finally this site plan by Bolt Wongruch shows the power of Morfolio Trace in using layering, the colour palette, the different types of line weights the different types of pencils and this is a really well executed site plan with a beautiful color scheme and style to it which i think you guys can take inspiration from and that is Morfolio Trace. Like I mentioned, this begins my journey in drawing on the iPad. I'm new to the app, I'm new to the iPad, and I want to bring you guys along with me over the next few months in learning how to draw on the iPad. And if you guys want to get started on Morfolio Trace, you can grab yourself an education discount by using the link down below in the description, fill out the form, and you can get yourself 75% off Morfolio Trace Pro for an entire year. So if you enjoyed the video, please smash the thumbs up button. If you want to stick around, for more Morfolio Trace videos, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.